Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be just a quick two to three minute recap of a Reading Royals losing by the same score that they won by yesterday, four to three, as the Royals really came out unsharp in this game in the first period. Got outshot 18 to one, somehow was still able to pot a goal by Thomas Ebbing, who has been playing very good himself. Played a great game in the first half of this split against the Lions, and then played a good game in the second half, potting a goal for himself, at least, that was assisted by Jared Brandt. But then, um, Arson um, Kazamadunov was able to score, I believe I pronounced his name right, and then Brandon Lowe, Braden Lowe, the guy that I really like that does all the small things right, is back-to-back -back goals in a game. So those are the positives Plus, also, Patrick Boshkoff was able to get another goal again to be able to get, get on the score sheet again to really be that productive player. Like I said, he's tied for third in the league. It might be tied for second now, depending where he moved up there. And that, when I did my Royal Stars of the Week video, if you want to go back to watch that, those are the positives from this game, along with the biggest positive of them all, which is Pat Nagel stepping up for back-to-back -back games. Last weekend, he looked good in the first half of the weekend tilt. Not so good in the second game. This weekend, he looked good in both tilts, and that's great stuff moving forward. Kevin Poulin against Nagel was a battle of two veterans. You don't see that a lot in the ECHL, a 31 and a 34-year-old goaltender. This was just a weird-as-heck game. The Royals didn't have a lot of shots on. They were winning at a certain point, 2-1. to one without a lot of shots on, and two, Oliver Archambault was able to score and tie it up. And then we've, of course, had Bashkoff score to be able to tie it up ourselves. And then there was a shootout goal, of course, that, well, also Justin Ducharme scored. Oh, no, 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 Bashkoff scored to make it 3-2, excuse me, us. And then Dust Justin Ducharme scored to tie it up at 642 in the third. And then there was a shootout goal that I think that's the one play Nagel would want back. But he's played great. I don't think he expected with Kirill coming over. I think he expected him to play a little bit more early. But, of course, that hasn't happened. And Nagel stepped up and played huge for the Royals. They just didn't play good enough in front of him. That was the story of this game. Uh, you were able to battle to be able to find a way to get goals. But, really, Kevin Poulin just played a bad game. Like, he didn't play that great again. He played poorly yesterday against the Royals. He played bad again today. And they were able to take advantage of that. That's why they were able to really force it into overtime and get that point. Like Richard said on the broadcast, for people that were listening, it was just nice the Royals were able to push this into overtime and get that one point. Because realistically, play-wise, they didn't necessarily earn it. They were pretty inconsistent in this game. Uh, there was a lot of back-and-forth play where they would be good for a stretch and then not so good for a stretch. They were obviously really good in the second when they outshot them 15-8. to eight. But then come out flat in the third again, get outshot eleven to seven, and got thrashed in the first eighteen to one, which is not acceptable. So this was a game the Royals really did not play as good as they should have in front of the goaltender. It ended up costing them in terms of eventually losing in a shootout, which is obviously a skills competition. I hate shootouts. I'm not somebody for shootouts. I would rather just keep the OT going on. But even then, the Royals looked like they were set to lose because we were looking terrible in overtime. <coughs> in overtime, excuse me where Pat Nagel was the only reason that the Royals were able to even get to that shootout as well as be able to be tied in regulation. So hats off to Pat Nagel. I'm giving him, um, honestly, I'll give him the second star of the game. You can't give him the first since we were able to get the loss. And then I would give Justin Ducharme the first, honestly, because he was able to score the tying goal. So I would say he would get the first star. And then when it comes to the second, or the third star, excuse me, for them, uh, I would have to give that to, that would be between Arsene coming to do off and, um, I'm going to go with Oliver Archambault just because I think his goal was a little bit more, I, I, I like that goal a little bit better, so we'll give him the third star, give two guys from the winning team the stars, Bashkoff was good again, Evan was good again for us, but the team wasn't good enough around Nagel, you got to pick up your goaltender, they played good, found the magic dust to be able to get the win, as Lau was able to sneak that backhander through pooling yesterday, they weren't able to find that magic dust today, and the Reading Royals lost 4-3 to three in a shootout, this has been a reaction to the Royals 4-3 to three loss to the uh, Nah, the Troy Riviere's Lions. Um, 
This has been Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe up above on the easy to use widget or also on the subscribe button down below. And also check out the Facebook page, Sports Fan News, as well as Flyers Nitty Gritty. Peace out, everybody.